welcome everyone to the balance class. Don't worry, we aren't going to be doing the balance class on such an unstable surface. We will be doing it on the floor. But let's talk a bit about the benefits of working on our balance and being consistent with training it. So it helps to increase our core and our leg strength. It helps to improve proprioception. So that is, I'm able to feel when my body is in space, even if I close my eyes. It helps to improve reaction time. So if I fall to the side or have to quickly react to something, I'm able to maintain my balance. It helps to improve our mobility over different types of surfaces, for example, walking on the concrete versus walking on the sand. And then generally, when we have better balance, we have more confidence. So that helps to improve our general quality of life. So I'm gonna step off of this now. <laughs> so how this um, class is going to kind of progress is we're gonna do a warm up and then we're gonna do the main exercises and the cool down. The main exercises will con consist of uh, 20 exercises and then you'll get a 30 seconds break after the first 10. We will be uh, starting the, the warm up in a chair, so grab a chair if you don't have one nearby and we'll be ending the cool down in standing. If you need to uh, maintain your balance, you're more than welcome to hold onto your chair for sideways exercises. You'll put the chair in front and if in uh, for more of the front ways exercises, you can hold onto the chair on the side. Starting off with neck rolls to the left. And to the right. into some shoulder rolls backwards and forwards we're going to slide our hands along our knees and round our back and going into an arch position feeling that chest opening up arm circles make them as big as you can And forwards. Reaching up to the ceiling and down to your toes. Getting a stretch in the lower back. I'm going to reach over to the side, opening up the rib cage. Feeling a deep stretch in the lower back. We're going to go into some hamstring scoops. Notice that your body is feeling a little bit warmer now. Very important to prepare our muscles for the main exercises. Going into a figure four stretch with a chest bounce, keeping your back as straight as possible. circles, alternating up and down, and we're ready to go into the main exercises. We're going to start by just putting our feet together and just kind of feeling our balance. You'll notice that I'm doing the class without my shoes on. But you are more than welcome to do it with your shoes on if you feel comfortable. Doing it barefoot just helps to get that feedback from the ground. We're going to be doing 
right leg hip flexion. Notice that the chair is next to me, so if you need to hold on to the chair, that that is completely okay. This is about what you feel comfortable with. And as you get used to it, you may be able to take your hand off of the chair. Going to the other side, remembering to place your leg down slowly and controlled, not letting the foot drop down to the floor. Keeping a soft knee on the leg that you're standing on, so slightly bent. We're gonna hold the right leg up. and the left leg. Focusing on trying to keep your hips as level as possible. We're gonna go into side hip abductions to the right. You can place your hands on your hips, you can place your hands to the side, whatever feels comfortable. Trying to keep your toe facing forwards the whole time to get a bigger activation in your glutes medius muscle, which is very important for balance. and go to the other side. With this exercise, if you feel you need a chair, place the chair in front of you and place both hands on, your, on the chair. We're gonna go into tandem balancing. So this will be with your right leg in front. Notice that it requires a lot more activation of your ankle muscles, your inner thigh muscles, and your buttocks muscles. So this is a very good exercise to, to do to practice our balance. We're gonna go to the other side. We're gonna do side squats, so slightly bending the knee and shifting your weight to the opposite leg. You don't need to use the chair if you feel that you are balanced enough. And we're going to take a 30 second rest.
We're gonna go and hold our right leg to the side, keeping a slight bend in the left knee that you are standing on and holding to the other side. Keeping our hips as straight as possible and noticing that the toe is still facing forwards to get a bigger activation in our glutes medius muscle. And we're gonna go to the other side. going to go into forward table tops. So this movement is initiated with the abdominal muscles and keeping the back as straight as possible. You're keeping your knees over your second toe and not letting them fall inwards. We're going into a forward reach, so you can go into a lunge position. This is a more challenging exercise. And this is to help us maintain our balance when we need to pick up something from the floor. And we're gonna go to the other side. If you need the chair, just place the chair on the other side of you so that you can balance with your right hand. We're going to do some calf raises, trying to keep the heels as close together as possible and keeping the buttocks squeezed and your abdominal muscles engaged. We're gonna now lift our toes up to the ceiling. This is an important exercise for balance and also to practice the lifting up of our feet while we walk to clear the ground. We're going to lift our hips up with the rotation in the abdominal muscles, initiating with the stomach muscles with that rotation and controlling the leg down to the floor. We're going to go into a Romanian deadlift. So this is quite challenging. If you feel you still need to keep your bottom leg on the floor while going down, that is perfectly okay. Focusing on, if you're standing on your right leg, your left arm is reaching forwards down to the ground. It's important to keep your back straight and the leg in line. So as your chest goes down, your leg goes up, thinking that it maintains a 180 degree line. If you are standing on your left leg, place the chair on your left side. If you're standing on your right leg, place the chair on your right side.
Okay, we're going to do standing hip extensions. This is an important exercise to help with walking up straight. and to the other side. Going into our cool down, we're going to stretch our neck to the side, grabbing by the ear. And to the other side. Intertwine your fingers behind your head and pull your chin towards your chest. Now we're going to look all the way up to the ceiling. This is actually quite important. We're going to stretch the front part of our neck, not something that we do very often. And we're going to stretch over, opening up our ribs, the lower part of our backs. And going to the other side. Gonna do a standing quadricep stretch. If you do need a chair, you can have one next to you just for balance. And trying to keep your legs together as possible and bringing that knee and hip as far back as possible. We're going to go into a crossover arm stretch. And to the other side, keeping those shoulder blades down towards your hips. We're going to go into a hip adduction stretch, so the inner thigh stretch to the right. Again, if you need a chair to hold on to. And to the left. Reaching forwards into our hamstring stretch, trying to keep your foot up to the ceiling to feel a bigger stretch through the hamstrings and the sciatic nerve and changing to the other side. If you need a chair to hold on to, please feel free to do so. We're going to go into a time of breathing now, focusing on breathing into your hands through the diaphragm and the chest and keeping your shoulders relaxed. Focusing on a deep breath for four seconds through your nose, holding that breath for four seconds, 
Breathing out through your mouth for four seconds and holding that exhale for four and repeating. Even three minutes of deep breathing can activate our vagus nerve and that activates our parasympathetic nervous system, which is our rest and digest system. The music is going to continue playing for you to breathe in your own time. And when you feel ready, you can open your eyes when the music stops playing. Thanking yourself for what your body has done today. <laughs>